Good morning. You are a creator who understands that you are amidst other creators and that this physical time space reality is like a well stocked kitchen with every ingredient imaginable. And you are here to create your own pie. You are also here to enjoy the pies that others are creating, but you are not here to dabble in their pies. You are not here to judge their pies, to condemn their pies, to eat their pies. <laughs> you are here to create your own pie. And when you understand that you are the creator of your own experience and that everyone else is too, and you come to understand our primary message here today, which is you are here in this physical body and you certainly have the free will to project your thoughts in any direction that you choose. But there are thoughts that you choose that align with who you are and there are thoughts that you choose that do not align with who you are. And when you choose those aligning thoughts, you feel the confirming resonance of your source joining you. And when you choose the thoughts that are not in alignment, you feel the discord. Your emotional guidance system lets you know that. Whatever you are giving your attention to is causing you to activate a vibration. Your vibrational future, your future experience, what's being held for you in vibrational escrow is all the things that you've been thinking about the things you want the things you don't want in other words the thoughts that you've been projecting are all about that and the way you feel is your indication of what you're moving toward and we want you to understand that nothing comes out of nowhere everything comes out of something that you've been offering vibrationally what we want you to do is to begin to be aware that negative emotion means you're moving towards stuff you don't want. And positive emotion means you're moving towards stuff that you do want. And you just can't get around it. That's just the way that it is. The better you feel, the brighter your future is. And the better you feel today. The worse you feel, the more unpleasant your future is. And the worse you feel today, you see? We want you all to come to the place where it matters to you more about how you feel than all of the things put together because how you feel is everything. And then people around you will be amazed at the things that will begin flowing into your experience. People who have known you for a while will come to you and say, what in the world has happened to you? You seem happy all the time. And it seems that I just heard you barely say you wanted that and then the door opened and a way for you to get it came. What's going on with you? And you will say to them, I followed my bliss. And then I sniffed out frustration and I stayed there for several days because I'd practiced that quite a bit and it was an easy place for me to be. And then I tugged a little bit from frustration and then I bounded into hopefulness. And then once I reached a hopefulness, avalanches of things began happening. It was like stuff was piled up outside my door for years. It began to come in. And then from hopefulness, it was really easy for me to get into a place of optimistic belief. And once I reached belief, then it was like I returned to the feeling I was born with. Suddenly I began feeling eager again and optimistic about things. And then I began to think about who I am and what I really want in life. I began to dream bigger. I began to resurrect things that I remembered wanting when I was a teenager. I began to make lists of things that I began wanting. I began to breathe deeper and feel more expansively. And then I got to tell you, truly incredible things began happening to me. From what seemed like out of nowhere, amazing things happened that 90 days ago, I couldn't even imagine. And today they feel like the next logical step. And that's the most important thing, friends. As you start moving up the emotional scale, only the thing that feels like the next logical step can come. If it feels too amazing, too good to be true, it is. It can't happen for you. But when it starts feeling normal, and how do you start making amazing things feel normal? You'll work your way up to them. You start practicing the feeling of the amazing things until you just begin expecting amazing things to happen. 
and then they do.